All right. Sorry about that. I'll go back and redo it again so we'll have a full um, meeting. All right. <clears throat> so, and, you know, it, it didn't happen overnight. That, that's the point I'm trying to make. You know, you, you can't start something and expect it to work right away. It's not a light switch. You're not going to turn it on and just see a light. You have to keep doing it, even when you don't feel like doing it. And, and, and nobody has to answer this question, but do you ever feel like, man, I don't want to do no more quotes? You know, I, I just I just did six. I don't feel like it. Anybody else feel like that? Nobody? Okay, all right. No, she says no. See, I felt like that. But I had to check myself and say, well, Jamal, this is what you asked for. <laughs> you asked for this kind of business. You wanted the type of revenue to come in, so this is what it takes. So you think about it. You may do a couple of quotes for some people, and they may not move the way you want them to move, but then that's preparing you for what's going to come. So pick a platform, stay consistent with it, and just think about other places you can post, okay? Sorry I went off on a tangent, guys. We're not getting excited. And you got to remember – you are the conductor. You know, you got to think about your audience, right? You know, the conductor tell, you know, they're going to conduct the, the orchestra so the audience can be entertained, right? So think of your page as entertainment, right? So you want to engage with, with certain type of people. And just think about the certain type of people you want to engage with. You got current clients, potential customers, referrals, friends and or family. And there's so many things you can do. I mean, if you guys need some ideas, I mean, we've done trainings in the past, but we talked about different things that you can post that can create engagement. Um, I think Maurice made a post one day, um, plunge pool, ocean view, a swim up. That was engagement. I was, he wasn't selling anything. But I took them same pictures. I didn't share it. I want you to think about this. Do not share it. Because if you share something from my page and it goes to your page, is it a good chance somebody may contact me because they saw that you shared it and you don't want that? Because I don't know where the customer comes from. So just think about who you like to engage, okay? And just think about what you want to do to increase your following. And I plan on running ads. Has anybody seen more ads of cruises like in the last month? I think I saw one with Fantasia on there. I, I saw the Groove Cruise. I saw um, Alabama Cruise. I think I saw about six of them. Anybody ever seen any ads for all these trips? No? Okay, yeah. They're yeah. out there. But the point I'm trying to make is they're investing in their business. Okay. You want to put something in. And yeah, the Soul Train Cruise, yeah, yeah, all of that, man. You know? Sharing your business profile. That's a great way to increase your following. Your personal account. I stay person per posting on my personal account. Because that's what I'm kind of used to. You know, I'm kind of set in my ways. But one thing I, I do know. And maybe some of you um, may run across this. We haven't even scratched the surface on what we need to do to get to where we're trying to go. So, but I will say this, do not sit stagnant. Because if you sit stagnant, you do nothing. And we know that song, nothing from nothing leaves nothing. So you may feel like you're doing all the busy work, but once it slow down for you, you start seeing that, that the picture a little bit different, you'll kind of figure out what work, what's working and what's not working. And as far as et cetera, I want to touch on that for a moment. Think about the friends you have. We'll use someone who has 5,000. Anybody got over 5,000 got 5,000 friends? Anybody has 4,000 friends? Just yes or no? Anybody? Okay, great. Oh my God, 10,000. Wow. So we're going to do a little bit of math. Just imagine, like myself, I have 5,000 friends. Just imagine if I took 10% of them, which is 500, and say, okay, I'm going to reach out in the inbox. I can go grab me an ad. Hey, 
my name is Jamal. See, we've been friends for a while. I just want to reach out, just introduce myself, even if you don't know him, okay? But if you do know him, is it okay if you ask them to share one of your travel deals? It could be a vendor post. I mean, it could be anything. And you've got it in their inbox. And what if they shared it? Some people are going to say no, or they may not respond. They'll give you a thumbs up. But what if they did it? So there's different ways you can get your business out there. Okay? So what I'm telling you is leverage other people who post. You know, you may see somebody who posts a lot. Say, hey, I know you post a lot. I need your help. Do you mind posting this on your page for me? And if anybody books, money, if anybody books this trip, I'm going to give you 10% of my commission. Is that okay with you? So now it's something in it for them, you know, and that's another skill you can learn on how to leverage other people to do things for you. And if you don't know how to do it, it's How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. It's a great book. So more follows on social media doesn't necessarily mean more leads. Remember, it's about engagement. So if Amani shared that flyer, if she tagged me, it don't matter. But if she shared that flyer and other people start commenting on that post, couldn't I go on that post and start engaging with those people? Hold up for one second. Hold up. Give me one second. Thanks. Somebody watching Fraggle Rock. Let me turn it. Mute it. Mute. Boop. There we go. Thanks. Sorry about that, guys. So just think about some of these things you can do. And, you know, pick a time when you want to do it. It could be in the morning, but you got to stay consistent with it. And I know it's easy. It's so easy to put our business down because it doesn't cost $10,000, $20,000 a month to run. So just do these little things. It's the habits which get you the results. Just get in the habit of doing them. And form that habit. Hold it for one second. Somebody watch a Fraggle Rock part two again. Yeah. All right. Social media branding and goals. So just think about what are some of your goals when it comes to social media branding. I had to learn this the, um, the hard way. I didn't understand what branding was. You know, branding is, is not arguing with people. I don't want to argue with people. I've argued with people in the past. And let me tell you, that's a broke conversation. Okay? Everybody understand that. That's a broke conversation. And we're on social media. We want to be more intentional. It's okay to have conversations with people. You know, that, 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 that's friendly and uplifting. But I'm not about to challenge you in the argument. Who can type the fastest? So my brand's voice will be funny. I have some agents who, who post some of the funniest memes. You ever see the meme with the um, spirit and the ladies? And the guy have their feet, I mean, their um, knees in their chest. I think that's funny. <laughs> I don't post it. Or the one with the group trip where it start off with a bunch of people. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Okay, okay, okay. My fault. Sometimes technology. So, you know, just think about how you want to brand. You know, you want to be inspirational with some of the stuff that you post, you know. Um Educational. I think education is, is, is very great when it comes to the travel industry because it's, it's, it shows that you're the subject matter expert, you know, um, and people love people that are inspiring. You know, you're going to have the Debbie Downers, but no, no offense, Debbie, but you're going to have the Debbie Downers that, you know, they just want to be sad all day. Right. And cel celebratory. I love doing celebratory posts because it shows other agents if she did it or he did it, you can do it, right? And it also shows people that's accomplishing things. So it's not all about Jamal, 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 Jamal. And, and this right here, try not to shame people. Guys, I've been guilty of it. You know, what you don't want to do is spend a lot of time on negative stuff, or non-income producing stuff by shaming people because it didn't go your way. A lot of times it's not going to go your way. And we just got to learn how to suck it up. You know, we got to build a bridge and get over it. Because, you know, when you shame people, it's no different 
then you go on to Walmart and then they get on the post and say, look, how are you going to come in here and try on this stuff and don't buy it? Why would you do that? And think about how that would make you feel, you know, or how you bought this vacuum cleaner and bought it back in two days. You're not, it, it's just, it's just not good for business. Okay. So ultimately my top three goals for social media are you want to increase your likes, followers, create more effective ads, drive more traffic to my account, establish myself as a travel expert, inspire my audience to travel. All of these are good, but this right here is kind of like a roadmap so you don't feel like you just, what should I post, what should I say? You know, and if you don't know what to say, I mean, there's so much stuff out there. We're going to get to that a little later. And you have to have business patience and be consistent. I won't say that again. You got to have business patience and you got to be consistent. Consistency, even Alyssa just said it. An agent, I mean, a, a customer told her, it was, was it a cousin, Alicia? I know you might be doing something, but if you can't. The, the cousin or a family member was a travel agent and she asked, you know, what made you go with me? Because you're efficient and you organized. So when people reach out to you, hey, look, some people may not be patient and consistent, but don't lose the customer because you're not patient and consistent. Follow what I'm saying? Because if your friends know you and they see that you're turning up and all of the other stuff. And I know nobody on this, this webinar does that. I, I know. I, I study y'all pages. I'm just kidding. But um, yeah, it, it just creates the wrong image. You know, it doesn't create the image of this person is about business or can I trust them with my money? If I can't trust them with my money, I'm sure not telling my friends so they'll be mad at me because would you introduce somebody that you know that's not consistent with what they say they do? Like, she braids hair, but she never answers her phone. Would you feel safe introducing someone to someone like that, ladies? Okay. Okay, I guess not. All right. So, whatever your goals are, check in often to measure your, pro your pro progress. And if your goals change, that's cool. Just adjust. You got to adjust. Everybody understand adjustment, right? I tell you about adjustment. No, I ain't going to do my research like that. I know you like them topics. So, <laughs> <laughs> as a rule of thumb, make sure you follow the 70-30 ratio. 70% engaging filler content and 30% dedicated to sales, promotion, or offering your services. And, you know, Maurice talked about this in the past. You don't want to be a bullhorn, bye, 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 next thing. You know, you don't want to be an infomercial, you know. That's why educational content is good, where you kind of suggesting things to do, best luggage, top 10 places to eat, Mexico, whatever it may be, you know, that's filler content. So, just always understand that you want your clients to engage. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. So many people watching us, man. It, it, it amazes me, especially when I go home to Savannah. Everybody knows I'm from Savannah. And, you know, someone to see me. And the first thing they'll say, I didn't even know they had a Facebook page, first of all. I see you traveling all over the place. Has anybody ever got that from somebody? Nope. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Cool. So, my followers can expect to see polls. There are great ways to do polls. If you don't know any polls, guess where you can find some at? Google, other travel sources, right? Inspiring stories or quotes. There's so many inspiring stories or quotes out there. Sometimes you get inspired out, but it's a good thing, you know, because people need that. You know, life is tough. Education. Did you know content? Did, did you know content is a great one? And, and we see it. Does anybody see it? Oh, Denise said they don't believe she has a nine to five. 
<laughs> you like Tommy off of Martin, huh, Denise? Yeah, I was wondering that too. Only way I knew you worked that because you said something about it. Testimonials. I love giving testimonials when clients, you know, come back from their trip. But I ask them, can I share it? You know, and they send me their pic. You know, and, and one thing about people, we love being recognized. You know what I mean? I never tag them in it because a lot of times we're not even friends on Facebook. Somebody else told them about them. You know, and Facebook Lives. I'm I'm going to dedicate myself to start doing Facebook Lives because <clears throat> let me tell you something. Have you ever researched a a, a, a a destination for anybody before and you got all this information? But you can repurpose that on a Facebook Live. You can print it out or have it right in front of you. You know, make sure, you know, you got the cold out your eye and all that stuff. You don't want to be online looking all crazy, okay? You don't want to do that. Don't do that. And you can just read that stuff right off the paper, Facebook Live. Tell everybody you Tune, thanks for tuning in and introduce yourself. But you see how simple little things like this can, can create more traction for the right kind of people. And next thing you know, your inbox start blowing up. I like that place she was talking about. The Facebook Lives are great. And people tune into that stuff. And you can see who's watching. Just like I see, you know, all the participants in the class. If I was like, hey, money, blah, blah, blah. Juanita, how you doing? You know, it's not like I'm calling you out, but I'm, I'm recognizing you, engaging. That's what we just talked about, right? And, you know, it's so many things that you could do. And if you don't know what to do, you can do a poll on Monday, something inspiring on Tuesday, something educational on Wednesday, a did you know on Thursday, a testimonial on Friday, a Facebook Live on Saturday. Is that your whole week, right? Already planned out for you? All right, so when are you going to start your lives? Dang, Tasha, I knew that was going to be you. If you I'm start gonna... yours, I'll start mine back up. Uh-uh, no, don't, don't, don't do it. Don't do it based off of me now. Don't Come do on now. Come on. Stop on. right there, Jamal. That's some good stuff. Come on, write it down. If I could... Say it again if I could write it down. <laughs> One thing, you know, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and give you an excuse. Y'all ready for my excuse? It's a good one, too. I want to get that light, the, the little ring light. I really want that. No excuses on Thursdays. No excuses on Thursdays. Somebody post that. No excuses on Thursdays. I like that. Nah, but I, I want to start doing it. Um, I'm going to start Monday. I'm going to start, you know, did you know, do a Facebook Live. And my live is probably going to be less than three minutes because I know people got their attention span about seven seconds. And I don't like doing them long anyway. Just so I can get, I mean, because it's, man, you ever get those magazines? Anybody ever get those magazines? Like from a vendor? Yeah, yeah. Asian, Asian magazine. Man, you yeah. can take the magazine and say, I've got my magazine. Let's open it up and see what we got. Did you know that such and such? Matter of fact, do I got one around here? I got one right here. Did you know Florida Space Coast, you can blast off to your next adventure? You got downtown, Cocoa Beach. I mean, I would have to plan it out, but you get what I'm saying. Hold it up, show it to them. Contact me for your next such and such. Or if you want to join our exclusive travel group, we have plenty of content. Put your name down here, and I'll send you an invite. And if you share this, I give you a special gift. I don't know what the gift may be, but you get what I'm saying, right? So... If you can't create your own content, if that's not you, you know, grab it from other resources. Oh my gosh. We, Maurice asked me that I see something one day. I was like, man, I get so many emails. Does anybody get all these emails? Does anybody yeah. get all these emails? Yes, yes. Now, I want to make this real clear to everybody. Can't we take that stuff and use it on Facebook? I mean, it's not, it's, not, it's not hard to get content for what we do. You know, we're not hiring a marketing firm to make commercials for us. And if you don't want to talk online, that's not you. Don't feel bad. I would say that, I, look, I'm nervous. I really don't like talking online, so please bear with me. Make that your headline. And people will look at it and say, well, what's she talking about? It, it, it's, it's an eye catcher. You know what I mean? 
and, and they do it to us all the time on email marketing. I see it all the time. So you can get stuff from online travel publications. I can't get online on this computer. This is my job, my other job computer. But go to jetsetter.com. And it's just one. I'm not sure. They have so many. It's almost like, man, all this stuff, I feel overwhelmed. But you can take this, 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 this template and kind of use it to make yourself more efficient in your business. Okay? And I'm telling you, they're going to come. They're going to come. They're going to come. You just got to be, you got to have that C word. And you got to be patient. You got to be patient. It, it doesn't happen overnight. Um, anybody ever use the compass? The compass on in Vex. That's a great tool for content. You know, if you direct to me or my dial line, I really hold your hand. I give you the stuff to post. Here, post this, post that, post this, because I get so much stuff, and I know I can't post it all on my page. So I share it. You know, just to kind of show you, like, look, this is all you have to do, and you just got to stay consistent with it because when the big fish come the person is calling you what well, can you do a, a jamaica uh, like melissa lady asked her, can you do this I'm like yeah i could do it you know it's not gonna be hard for her to do and even if you don't know how to do it just what you say everybody know what to say when you don't know how to do it anybody the 20 dollars gift card toys R us 20 bucks the toys us though you gotta go toys us here does that mean I can't answer you? Yeah, go ahead, Tasha. I know you got it. I, I just don't want, I don't want you to intimidate everybody. They, you probably made all A's in school, didn't you? Let Nikki answer it. Nikki can answer it. Why might, Nikki got to answer it? Tasha can answer it. Nikki might be busy. Ain't nothing like an answer from Nikki. The Nikki. <laughs> I hear you. If I don't know the answer, then I say, you know what? Let me follow back up. Let me look it up and let me follow back up with you. That's what I say. Y'all write that down. Because I know some people. I might not be an expert, but I know somebody. And so let me follow up and I'll get back with you. Y'all write that down. Let me follow up and I'll get back with you. What you don't want to do is you don't want to lie. Correct. You don't want to lie. You set an expectation like she did. I'll follow back up with you. But uh, you don't want to lie. If it's somewhere you haven't been, then, you know, do the research necessary. <clears throat> and they'll respect that more than lying or I don't know. Because when you say I don't know, it's like, okay, you're going to follow up. You're going to check to see, like, Mm -mm. That's yeah. yeah, I let them know, hey, I have a, a supplier that specializes in, let's say, South Africa. Um, I'll get the detailed information and I'll, I'll get back with you. So now you let them know that you have the resources to access, mm -hmm. you know, the information they need. Even if I don't know, I still have those resources ready available to, to actually get the information that I need. So that just, you know backs the fact that you are still a, a, a subject matter expert. Mm -hmm. and, and you know what just happened? He said he'll get back up with you. Not get back up, I'll get back with you. That right there just created another appointment for that person. So you set an appointment in your calendar. Does anybody use a calendar? If you don't, I mean, it's okay. I mean, I don't. I use my phone, the calendar on my, uh, on my phone. It's an iPhone. I don't count. <laughs> <laughs> but no, that's a great resource. He's being smart with his phone. I do the same thing, you know, because um, you think about it. The only thing you have more in your hands is probably your keys. Or if you write, you know, we always have our phones on us. So I made it, I made use of that, that app on my phone. I used to have a paper calendar when I was um, marketing the business, but I think the phone is better for me. So um, anybody had anything else to say before we move forward? Jamal, I was just gonna say for like getting content, um, your BDMs, 
friending them or following them on Facebook, Instagram, they post a lot of pictures, especially like when they're traveling. And so I've seen some say like, yeah, you know, other agents have said like, oh, can I you post your pictures? They say, yes, please do. That's why they take the pictures for us to post and sell their products. And then they just want you to use the hashtags, you know, whatever that resort is, things like that. They just want you to use those hashtags because they're following those hashtags. And they're seeing like, okay, who's booking this, who's promoting this um, and things like that. So that's why they do it. So use the pictures that your BDMs have and videos. I'm going to ask a question because I'm from Savannah. Um, what's a BDM? A BDM is a business development manager that works for a hotel, of a, a specific resort, a hotel management company, like Hilton is a hotel management company. So under Hilton brand, you will have um, Hilton Garden Inn, Hilton Hotels, Embassy Suites, Hampton Inn Suites, Doubletree, and a plethora of other hotels and their job they're usually over regions so like states or southern region or multiple states but they work directly more so with travel agents and they're the ones that are you know going around talking to travel agents and promoting their brand um so like you know so like our bdm for playa resorts which is the hyatt ziba zalara um, those properties, he just, we just got a new BDM. So he goes around. So he just got back, I think from Dominican Republic, the Ziva and the Zalar that just opened up in November 1st, November 3rd, um, last year. So he was there taking pictures. And so he covers like South Carolina, Georgia, Tennessee, Florida, North Carolina, and a couple of other States, but he goes, his job is to go around and sell, um, get um, travel agents to sell the Playa brand. So, because they have quotas that they have to meet for their region. So they want agents booking their brands. Thank you so much, Nikki. And I was being You're very welcome. I, I just and that's from a South Carolina degree right there. <laughs> that's, that's good. And I just want to her to, you know, tell everyone what it was. I know sometimes we may not want to ask the question, so I, I kind of you know follow the soil for everybody. Not only being harmed by being from Savannah, I just a little joke I do. Yes, go ahead. Jamal, um, question for you and Maurice. When I see y'all post those videos, now do y'all get those videos off of the different resorts website? Because when I go to YouTube, I'm I'm always seeing videos posted by other travel agents, and I don't want to use those. So. Uh, when I went to that event um, last Wednesday, some of the, res the BDMs for the different resorts took my card and told me that they would email me some of the videos that they showed in their presentations. But I was just wondering, where do y'all get those videos um, from? Yeah. Um, so usually I, I try to Irvin go to the YouTube, YouTube page of the actual brand. If not, uh, some of the agent um reward sites have the media content now you can download like pictures and videos and in certain instances i've i've had them actually email me the um the information they usually send you a link to like you know a file transfer site or a dropbox something like that and you can go in and grab all the different content that you need and that's another reason like you mentioned it's important to to build that relationship when you go to these different shows if you can that way they can actually you know, giving information like um, Malik from Playa Hotels, he emailed every everybody that came to the show last week and sent out information for promos and, you know, stuff like that. And don't be afraid to friend these people on Facebook. Um, I get mine from YouTube, um, Irvin. What I do, I don't share the link because I don't want the person to go to YouTube and get to looking all over and thing you know, the tripping book. Um, but I download the video to my computer and I upload the video from my computer to my Facebook. There is an app for you on for your phone to do it, but I don't I'm not that smart with my phone, so I wouldn't be able to tell you which app it is. Sometimes it works for me, sometimes it doesn't. But I, I know YouTube though. 
Yeah, it works easier with an iPhone, so. That's probably <clears> that yeah, maybe what the problem is. Those iMovies. Mm-hmm. Put some yeah, pictures you, together and put some nice music to it. There exactly. Or be all dramatic and everything. There you go. See, that's, that's Steven Spielberg and John Singleton all right there telling you how to do it. Yeah, I, I just do my own little simple. I'm a simple guy. But no, I love going to the um, the actual resorts um, Facebook page. Not Facebook page, but because um, you could Google the actual resort you, you want, you like, and then go to videos, and you'll see their YouTube page and become friends, you know, subscribe to their YouTube page. They got all kind of content. I just... You know, one of the things I always tell people, just don't make it too long. You know, if it's three minutes, I mean, just think, would you sit through a three-minute video? You probably would, but most people won't. So I like to keep mine short, short and sweet, so you can add some more. Um, so when creating videos, did anybody have anything else to say before I moved on? Okay, cool. Oh, that's right, cool. So when creating videos, Facebook Live is sharing other valuable information. Don't overthink this because sometimes we'll feel like, is this working or should I share this? Just do it anyway. You want to fail forward. You want to do it and figure it out, you know, versus trying to figure it out. Then do it because so many people have joined this business, right? Y'all know some of them. Join the business and don't say nothing about their business because they feel they don't know something. Guys, I've never been to Paris. I've never been to Thailand. I've never been to Dubai, but I can sell it, right? So, Think about it as documenting what you already what you're already doing versus creating content. All the new features you've learned about a resort can be featured in a quick what Facebook post. So when you feel like you've looked for something for somebody, and oh they ain't responding, take that same thing and post it on your page. Matter of fact, send it to me. I post it on my page. So the 30 minute do's and don'ts and spiel you gave to a client about cruising, can that be? Transform into a blog post or video, you know, get there on time. Don't fly in the day before um, the cruise <laughs> the cruise leaves. You know, make sure you got your, I don't know much about cruising. I just know the ship is nice and you have a good time, right? Well, even better, start a Facebook Live and post it to your YouTube or IGTV. I love posting my stuff to YouTube, oh my gosh. So if somebody go to my YouTube, they're like, oh, okay. I, I, they'll start looking around on my YouTube channel, not someone else's YouTube channel. And remember, the key is not to overthink it. Having a basic plan is half the battle. All you have to do is start and stay consistent. SSC. Everybody say it. SSC. Start and stay consistent. And guys, that's my time. Does anybody have any questions before? We ended. I'm gonna go back and do this again because I, I didn't get the first part. Anybody have any questions? Man, consistent, consistent. How many times you say that tonight? Oh, um, quite a few. Consistently. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is good stuff. <clears throat> good stuff. Being consistent. Because I love social media, by the way. Yeah, you get so many leads and uh like you say, you just plant the seeds. Just keep planting the seeds. It's not gonna grow overnight. It may not grow in um, two months, three months, but uh eventually it's gonna it's gonna hit you. You'll be overwhelmed. <laughs> you gotta be ready. You gotta be ready. So thank you guys for tuning in. Um I will have this up probably in a day because I'm going to redo it probably tonight. And um, I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. So, hey, yeah, plant seeds and other people. Yeah, see, Armar got, see, Armar will be knowing. Yeah, Armar will be knowing. Yeah, plant seeds and other people. Let them promote you. That's the follow-up. Well, thank you so much, guys. Y'all have a wonderful night. And I'm um, sorry I didn't get this thing recorded in the beginning, but we're going to get it fixed for you, all right? All right, everybody. All right, good night. All right. Good night.